I just want to pat you down, my man. Oh, man. Here. What are you doing with this thing? I found it. You know people shouldn't drive drunk, and your uncle made a mistake. Don't you think that's pretty unsafe to be driving drunk with a kid in the car? What are you doing out in the street? I have to look for mommy right here. This gentleman walking down the street, he's looking a little suspicious. He keeps looking back over his shoulder after we passed him. Got a lot of burglaries and stuff in the area, drugs and that. So we'll just go ahead and talk to him and see what's going on. Come here, my man. You got ID on you? No, I just came out the house. I'm staying 22 old Hanson, huh? You ain't got no ID on you? No. You can run my name. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm on bond now. You on bond for yeah. what? Man, it's a long story. Well, tell me. Uh, 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 robbery, man. Armed robbery? Yeah. Come here, then. No, you can't search me. I ain't nothing. Come here. Why? Come here. For why? Come here. For why? I just want to pat you down, my no, man. man. Come here. Metro, I got one running. East. On Hanson. Let me see your hands. Get down. Get down. On the ground. Hey. Oh. On that, your stomach. I did that because I've been scared. On your stomach. I did that because I've been scared, officer. What's underneath the house? Ain't nothing. I just went under there. I ain't got nothing to lie to you. Mama, you can let me up. So he's the one that he can get up. Okay. Come on. Let's come out here to my car. Ah. All right. What's that? Put your feet up. You know how to do it. You've been arrested before. Come on. Hey. All right. Come on. My bad. Breathing hard, man. You out of shape. Uh, have a seat. My man, where are you going? I'm going. I was going home. For what? Going home. I just came. I just went to the store. You know, to get a blunt. Uh huh. And that was it. Cause you know I've been working all week. Oh, so why'd you run? Man, I've been scared, man. You know, you when I said bond, you looked at me. You looked at me crazy. Uh -huh. Saying, you know what I'm out on bond. That wasn't what, that's not what I looked at you crazy for. I looked at you crazy because you said you were out on bond. Yeah, you know, For armed robbery. Yeah, you know. I man, just wanted to make sure you didn't have a weapon or anything. I ain't got no weapon. I was just scared. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you right now. I got a dog coming. To go up underneath that house. Ain't nothing under the house. Yeah, well, I find if, it, if it is something under there. It ain't mine. I'm telling you that now. Man, you can you can just take my word and just let me go. Oh, I, I ain't gonna let you go. No, I stay. You you can. I understand that, look, but I no. I ain't get back out. Gonna, slide hey. back up in there. No, nah, but look. Slide in the car. Look down, in the car. In the look car. down the street down there. Yeah, I, I understand that. In the car. You can take me in front of my door then. Uh, you going to jail? How? Huh? For what? Running. I was walking home on the side of the road. Well, you I decided that you wanted to go on a track. I, I, hey, Mr. Moore, I'm sorry. I'm All sorry. Right. All right, there ain't... Uh, no, don't be wiping your sweat on me. I'm sorry. There ain't nothing up underneath that house? No, if it is, it ain't mine. I'm telling you that now. All right, well, if I find something up underneath that house, it's going to be yours. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. How? Because you're the last person up underneath that house. Right. It's a lot of... Get it uh, in the car. It's a lot of people coming to this house late night. OK. Now, this is going to be the breakdown moment in my life of snitching. OK. My first time. Nah. It was something under there, but it ain't mine. What's under there? It, it looked like it was a bag of weed. Like a bag of weed? Yeah, like it would leave. When, I, when, when you pull up on me. One, two ounces? No, nah, it wasn't no ounces. It's just like. Pounds? No, nah, it ain't even a pound. It's a, probably probably four grams. Four grams? Because when you pull up on me, uh -huh. I was right by when I went You were right by it? Right by it. Okay. I did not do that. He went back up underneath there and got the dope. That what I seen right That's there. your four grams? That ain't mine. I said it looked like it looked like it about four grams right there, because I looked at it. When you came under, I, I swear to God, on my on my mama grave. I ain't trying to go back to jail. I'm on a straight and narrow road to success. Straight and narrow. I am. Smoking but nah, weed. But my, Smoking my, weed ain't straight and narrow. My, my, but no, you know, you know what I'm saying? You work, you get off, you do your love. You know everybody do, do they love dirty, dirtiness. Some people drink, some people smoke, some people sniff, some people smoke dope. No. 
Yeah, but out of all that you just said, drinking's the only thing that's legal. Drink, yeah. But that that's illegal. Yeah. You know, and I just made a dumb mistake. All right, we'll slide back up in there. Ah. Turn around. Turn around. Oh. Turn around. Okay. I'm sorry, man. Ah. What are you doing with this thing? I found it. You found it? Yeah. Oh. Earlier today, we had a call about a male black, about uh, 14 years old, subject who was armed with a gun, apparently robbed a uh, female of a cell phone. Uh, we were in the area. We couldn't find him. Uh, now we're en route to a call about a, a male white juvenile waving a gun in, uh, around in the air. Uh, we're in the same general area as the other call was, so we're not quite sure if these things are uh, both related. You got a gun in your hands? Yes. Uh, turn around. Turn around. Uh, turn around. Here it is. I'm sorry, man. Uh, turn around. I'm a, trying to. It's a toy. Uh, Quit. That's getting auto activity at tree. Looks like a Glock. What are you doing with this thing? I found it. You found it? Yeah. Where did you find it? Down the street. Then why do we have people call people calling us and telling us that you're waving it in the air? Why? Huh? Wanna be waving no gun in the air? Not stupid. How old are you? Fifteen. And that's all I got, sir. So why don't you tell me what you're doing with this BB gun? I was walking down the street and I found it. Okay, what well, you know what you're doing right now is you're lying to me, okay? Now listen to me. Look at me, okay? The only way you can avoid not going to jail tonight is to tell me the truth. You understand that? Do you understand what I'm? Yes, sir. I'm telling you. Did your parents know where you're at? No, yeah, they let me go out walking. They let you go out walking? When we take you home and show them that, they're going to say that's his, that's, that's your your BB gun and he's been allowed to have? Are they going to tell us that? Yes, sir. So you didn't find it, that, did you? It was my brother's. So you've been lying to me the whole time? Yes, sir. All right. Have a seat right there, Doug. Tobias is the actual perpetrator. He's the one who stuck the gun uh, in the girl's ribs and stole the phone. Uh, stuck, it, stuck it in her ribs, said, if you move, I shoot you. If you say anything, I shoot you. If you scream, I shoot you. He was with the white male with the red hair. Uh, he snatched it off of her off of her, and then ran. OK, he told us that he was waving the thing up there. Let's talk to him and see what he's going to do. He can either be a witness, or he can be a defendant in this particular case. So. All right. Okay. Step on out here, young man. Okay. Let me explain something to you, okay? It appears right now that the, 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 the trouble that you're in has gotten a whole lot worse. You need to tell us the truth about this gun and who had it and what they used it for. I got it and uh, gave it to Tobias, and he went to the girl and put it to her and took her cell phone. And took her cell phone? Yes. Okay. Where did that happen? Up there by the apartment buildings. Did he tell you what he was going to do with it? Yes, sir. Where did he go after he uh, took the gun from you? Like we started walking up there. You guys started walking together? Yeah. And you were with him, obviously, when all this happened, right? Yes, sir. Okay, what happened to the gun after he did that? Did he give it back to you? Yeah, like, he's, I was sitting on the other side of the parking lot when he did it. And then he just walked up right here and gave okay. it back to me. Okay, we're going to talk to your parents. I don't think he was actually involved in the robbery itself, okay? He just had the weapon and supplied it, okay? Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna go ahead. And, we're gonna go ahead and take take these handcuffs off of you. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have you write out a statement for us. Okay. And then we're gonna release you to your mother. Have you ever okay. seen this before? All right. BB gun. Okay. Never owned a BB gun. Never borrowed it from anybody. No, sir. As far as you know, it's never been in this house. Not that I know of. Okay. Whose gun is it? It's Tobias's. Okay. The white. You just continue to lie to me. We've told your mother her other son had a gun in the house that she was unaware of, and that's where you got it from. Now, that obviously caused her some concern. OK, and then and, and here we find out that that's, not, that that's not the case, that you're lying to us about that. Mom, he's going to be charged for the disorderly conduct to be cited in the juvenile court, and you're going to have to appear down there with him. It's OK, young man. It's OK. What do you think your blood alcohol concentration is going to be? I don't know. Your uncle made a mistake. He did it himself. You're not to blame for any of it. We're en route to a possible drunk driver. Uh, there's a citizen following a vehicle that just hit him. So the vehicle swerving all over the road, just hit a light pole and several other vehicles. He thinks there's a child in the car in the passenger seat. How's it going? All right. 
Can I call my parents? It's okay, young man. It's okay. What's going on? It's okay. Do, do me a favor. Can you, can you sit right here while I talk to them, okay? He was driving? He was driving. I was driving. Okay, come here, sir. Let me talk to you. You don't have any weapons on you, first of all, right? No guns, uh, knives? No, Do me no. a favor, turn around. Let's your hands behind your back. I'm just gonna check you for weapons. Okay, what's going on? I was driving. Uh-huh. On the alley behind AMPM. I got close to him. I got close. He got close to me. I uh -huh. hit it with my mirror. Okay, so your car mirror hit his car. Yeah, right there. This one. Okay, is that damage caused by this? No. So this is old? It, it was late. No, no, no. Did that happen today? He, when he started following me, what uh -huh. oh, what happened to me? I get afraid. How'd this damage happen? I hit a curb. You hit a curb? Yeah. How high was the curb? That's not the size of a curb, sir. I don't know. A I curb comes about the entire size. Look, look, you can look at his car. How much did I drink tonight? To be honest with you, about probably 12 beers. 12 beers? Yes. What time did you start drinking? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'd like to be honest. And I, well, I'd like you to be honest. I'd be saying probably 4 o'clock. Was the kid riding in the car with you? He wasn't. He was in the car with you? Yes, don't you think that's pretty unsafe to be driving drunk with a kid in the car? <sighs> no? Yeah, no, I do. Yeah, it was probably a pretty bad choice, wasn't it? Hmm? Yes. How many, how many things did you crash into? Two. Two things? Say, 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 the other side. I don't know. Hmm? We'll come and look at it. Is this damage old or new? No, it's new. This is new? Yes, sir. What'd you hit? A, a post. A pole? One of those poles. How'd you do that? I swing. You hit something wood. Yes, Paul? Sir, do me a favor, have a seat, have a seat. Can I close? Siente se. You got driver's license, young man? Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? Can you tell me what happened real quick? He sideswiped me. He in the alley? He said he didn't do it. Um, I told him I was going to call the police. He got in his car, and he started to pull away, and I chased him. He hit cars on the way. He hit several things. OK. Thank you very much. What's your name? My name is Luis. Luis? You OK? You... It, it was my fault because I was hungry and I wanted to go to Taco. I, I, have a home here I wanted to go to Taco. They didn't have no gas, and then he went to the gas station. I don't know what happened for the rest. Were you, did you get in a car accident? No, I no. Was not You're not hurt. No. What did what, your dad hit? Is that your dad right there? He's my uncle. That's your uncle? Yeah, I want to call him my dad. I okay, well, I'll tell you what. Hey, Luis, I'm going to get a hold of your parents, okay? And they'll come pick you up, all right? You're not, you're not hurt at all? No. Luis, you know it's not your fault what happened, right? None of it's your fault. You, you know people shouldn't drive drunk, and your, your uncle made a mistake. So anything that happens, he, he did it himself, okay? You're not to blame for any of it. Okay. All right? Okay. Take a deep breath. And go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Do you know what the legal limit in California is to be driving? Yeah, 1.08. 0.08. 0.08. Do you, do you think you're going to be under or over that? I don't know. You don't know? What do you think your blood alcohol concentration is going to be? I don't know. Pretty much what I was expected. You registered at 0.131. Do you want to turn around for me? I'll give those to your family. Okay, you're under arrest for driving under the influence of an alcoholic beverage. Okay. No, he's with his mother. Okay. He's with his mother. They went out for a walk right now. What are you doing out in the street? I was looking for mommy. I have to look for mommy right now. Being um, dispatched to a found child, there's a five-year-old male juvenile kid who is running around and jumping in the street in front of cars. Doesn't seem to be any parents around, but he's concerned that he's lost. Hi. Did you guys call? OK. He came out in front of us and laid down in the street. And then, and then you know, we stopped the car. And, and he ran across here, almost got hit. He came back up to the car and just laid down in front of it. So I got out and asked him where he lived down here. David, come here, hon. 
I'm not unthinkable. Hey, bud. You want to come over here and talk to me for a second? Come over by my police car? You can come back and have some candy, okay? It's OK. It's not a pig. What are you doing out in the street? I was looking for Mommy. I have to look for Mommy right now. Is she at your house? Yeah. Do you know where you live at? Uh, at 248. Do you want to ride in my police car? Come on, let's come on over here so I can you ride in my car, okay? This car looks like this car. Come on back here. Hey, bud. Okay. Hey, Dave, you need to see right here so I can put the seatbelt on you, okay? Yeah. Lean over just a little bit this way. Okay. Have you ever rode in a police car before? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Where'd you ride at one at? At Connection. All right. Well, I'll get you home to your mommy, all right? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna drive over here to an apartment complex. It's close. And we're gonna see if we can find apartment number 248 and see if maybe that's where he lives at. Do you live in here, David? Right there. Right here? Yeah. Wait, what here? Hi. Hi. Uh, do you have a, a five-year-old son named David? I sure do. What's wrong? Oh, my God. Do you know where he's at right now? No, he's with his mother. Okay. He's with his mother. They went out for a walk right now. Do you know where they went for a walk at? The last I saw, they went that way. Okay. What's going on, you guys? Well, somebody found your son walking in the middle of the street. And well, his was... mother's got to be frantic. How did you guys find us? We just moved into town. Well, and he did... I've tried to teach him his telephone number. I've tried to teach him his last name and so forth. And, and the address is brand new to him, so I don't know how he... Well, he gave us a, the street name and then an apartment number. And so... He remembered that? Yeah, he remembered oh 248. God, Jesus. So, does she have a cell phone or do you have she any She doesn't way? have a phone on him. Okay. Um, why don't Let you put me, some shoes on and then come on down here. All right, well, let's just... Well, I'm right down here in the patrol car, so... Come on, let's walk over here. I think she's just calling in now. Appreciate it. Uh, Luckily, some concerned citizens, he, he darted out in front of the car and was laying down in whoppy traffic. Whoppy doppy, my son. Why? See, this is the kind of trouble you can get into, son, uh, if you dart away from mommy. Baby, we're going to have to talk about this. This this is really bad. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, son. You did a good job remembering the, the street. You did some really good things. We'll talk about that, too. Why don't we come on out of here? She'll be here in just a minute. Why don't you give your dad a big hug? David, please don't do this to me no more. Please, Bear. Please, son. Because, I mean, you had to come home in a special car with the police officers here, and, 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 you, and your mama's going to be so confused about what to do with you sometimes now. What they said is that there was a couple cars driving in the road, and he darted out in front of them, and, laid down in front of the car and luckily a, a couple pulled him out of the street and called us and oh God. and this is mom don't you ever run off again come here Mama, come here we, we got a thing miss uh, he ran off from me her feet hurt and she can't run as fast he as ran done. off from me and he can be a football field away for it <laughs> i love you i'm so <laughs> don't run off no more please yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Rogers. Can I give you a hug? Can I give you a hug? You're an angel.